Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm vlogging. I'm actually leaving the house today. I have to take my mother to a doctor's appointment. Other than that, I just have time to kill. I definitely need some coffee, so off we go. Good morning. Could I please have the vanilla sweet cream nitro cold brew grande? Perfect, what else for you, hon? Uh, that'll be everything. Okay, come on down, thank you. Thank you. Delicious. Father's Day is coming up soon, so I think I'm going to go shopping for a Father's Day gift for my husband. I already got my dad something, so that's the goal for the day. stain from L'Oreal so I'm definitely going to be picking one of these up. So I just got out of Target and I got a lot of great stuff. They actually had everything that I needed there so that makes me super happy because I didn't have to go to multiple different places to find the things that I needed. And of course it's Target so I was in there for over an hour just kind of checking out every aisle just seeing what they had there and I forgot how much I love Target. So the first thing I got is this cute number blocks toy kit for my son. Just something to keep him busy with but it's cool because it has 107 Lego block pieces and then it comes with stickers that you can stick onto the blocks which is super cool. So the main reason why I went to Target is because I wanted to get this AirPod charging case for my husband because his charging case broke and it doesn't charge his AirPods anymore and I don't know what it is about these chargers but even mine broke too so I'm definitely keeping the receipt and taking advantage of the Apple Care because because these break so easily. And then I also got him this essential amino acid energy drink. He loves this stuff because he doesn't drink coffee, so this is like his coffee. And then I got a cute bag to put that stuff in for Father's Day. And I couldn't help myself, so I definitely got some makeup products. And I know that Target has cheaper drugstore makeup, like Maybelline and L'Oreal and all that is a lot cheaper than it is in Ulta, but I didn't realize how much cheaper it was. So they had the new L'Oreal, what are these called? I forget what they're called, but they're like the new L'Oreal matte liquid lipsticks. So I got one and this is in the shade 115 Snooze Your Alarm. So here's the shade super beautiful almost like a burnt peach tone i don't know this is like the usual shade i always go for i'm obsessed then i got i love these lip glosses so this is the lifter gloss hyaluronic acid and i got the shade 021 gummy bear and this is just a beautiful nude pink can't really see it on camera but just a nice sheer nude pink and they actually had this elf Halo Glow Powder Puff in stock, and I had to get it because it's sold out everywhere. And then I got this LA Girl Gel Nail Polish, and this is such a beautiful purpley pink shade. I have one in the shade Charming, and I really like it. I always use that one on my toes, but I had to get this shade because it's so pretty. And this is in the shade Tada. So I would say that Target trip was pretty successful. So I went to the Asian market with my mom and I got a couple things. I got an eggplant, because I love to cook that with egg. It's like a Filipino dish. Then I got these sweet potato noodles. Super excited to try this out, do like a stir fry. Then I got this yummy chocolate treat. It's called Sticko. It reminds me of when I was a child and when we would go visit the Philippines. I was obsessed with this. Then the last thing I got are these roasted seaweed papers. I got this so I can make like a vegan version of Spam Musubi.
I hit the jackpot at Sephora today. So the Kohl's near my house opened up a Sephora inside Kohl's and they literally opened up like a couple days ago. So they were like fully stocked on almost everything. And this Sephora inside Kohl's had one size beauty and I was able to pick up the new Cheek Clapper Trio in the shade Attention Seeker. And this has been sold out for so long online and all the Sephora's near my house. So I'm so excited that I got my hands on one. So here's what it looks like. And it has a big mirror. And look at those shades. I have another one of these blushes. I forget what shade it is, but it's like more of a peachy tone. But it comes with a cream, then it comes with a matte, and then like a really shimmery blush topper. I have to get a shot of this in better lighting because look how beautiful that is. Like, I'm so obsessed with this. And the blush topper is so pretty. It has like reflex of purple and blue and all sorts of shades. So near my Sephora inside Kohl's, right across the parking lot, there's an Ulta. Of course, I had to go to Ulta. And I just got two things, but I got Earth Therapeutics, the smoothing footstone. And I need something like this because my heels are super cracked and dry right now. And then the last thing I got is this Tree Hut shower gel. And this is the foaming gel wash hydrating oil complex. And this has strawberry and beta hydroxy acid. So it's going to help kind of exfoliate the skin. And it smells so good too. So today is a hair wash day. So I am going to take a long, nice shower. big bag of empties that I want to talk about. Most of it is skincare because I've been using a lot of skincare lately. So the first product I used up is this Cocoa Butter Formula Massage Lotion for stretch marks. I got this when I was pregnant and this is a huge bottle. It's almost a 34 fluid ouncer and it took me forever to use this up. So I used this throughout my whole pregnancy and then I kind of stopped using it. And then I started using it again and I forgot how much I liked this. So it's super hydrating, has a nice subtle clean scent and I really did enjoy this. I used up another body lotion and this is the Paula's Choice Weightless Body Treatment 2% BHA. Now this has salicylic acid. This was a great body moisturizer that I used on my legs because I would get a lot of ingrown hairs from shaving. So this was a nice gentle exfoliator. It doesn't have a scent to it. So I would apply this and then I would use another lotion. It was kind of expensive though for the size. It's only a seven fluid ouncer. So I don't know if I would get this again because there's a bunch of other ones that are a lot cheaper that do the same thing. I used up this 
Hero brand Mighty Patch pimple treatment. This was just like a small sample size. It came with six patches. And I didn't hate this, but I didn't really notice a difference after using this on a pimple. So I don't think I would buy this again. I used up this Kiranique volumizing keratin conditioner and then this scalp simulating shampoo. I really enjoyed this shampoo. I felt like it deeply cleansed my scalp. And after using it, my scalp would feel really clean. I didn't really notice any hair growth with using this and neither of these had like a really strong like yummy scent they were just kind of plain smelling i would repurchase this but i didn't really care much for the conditioner like it takes a lot for me to like a conditioner i usually always use like a hair mask or something as a conditioner because my hair is so dry and long that seems to be the only thing to do the trick i used up this vital hydra solution sheet mask from dr jart i really enjoyed this and i already bought a backup this is a dry shampoo that i got at ulta and it's from the brand Willa Professionals. Now this dry shampoo smells super good, but I can't really say if I love this or not because the spray literally broke and it's still super full, but I can't use it because it just doesn't work. So I won't be repurchasing this again. Kind of sucks that it's just broken. I completely finished up this Dr. Jart Ceramidin cream. I really like this. I will definitely be repurchasing this. Um, and they did reformulate this product. I don't know what's different about it, but I know that it's a good like moisture barrier. So it keeps hydration in and I have super dry skin. So this is my skin's best friend. Here are more sheet masks I finished up. I love the Tatcha sheet masks. These are so good. And this is from a brand called Avatara. I don't know how to say that. These masks were really nice. They were super cooling on the skin. I enjoyed them. I finished up this sweet spot labs unscented gentle body wash i really really like this body wash i already have a backup of it it's just a great unscented body wash that you can use all over it doesn't strip your skin and it keeps your ph balanced i finished up this belief aqua bomb jelly cleanser now in the beginning i really did enjoy this cleanser because it lathers up so good and it really deeply cleanses your skin but i noticed after using this my face would feel so tight and like my skin was peeling. So I feel like it's a really good cleanser. It just really stripped my skin. A foot sheet mask from Peach Lily. I really like this one. It smelled so good and it was super hydrating. This is my most favorite setting spray. And this is like a limited edition packaging, but I love this setting spray. I already have a backup. I finished up this travel size living proof perfect hair day dry shampoo. I do like this dry shampoo. It has a nice scent to it, but it wasn't anything that like awed me. I think I got this as as like a gift with purchase or something. When I had my hair balayage, I finished up this Brass Off Colored Obsessed Neutralizing Hair Mask. This is from the brand Matrix. This wasn't anything amazing. It just kind of helped neutralize the blonde that I had in my hair. Didn't seem like it helped hydrate my hair or anything. Another sheet mask from Neutrogena. I really like this one because it's like the gel sheet mask. So it really plumps up the skin. Already repurchased. I finished up this Redkin Extreme Anti Snap Leave-In Treatment. This smells so good. Like I don't even know how to describe the scent. It's just like clean and fruity. But I do feel like it helped treat my hair because my hair is really dry and damaged so i do feel like after using it it would keep my hair more strong so this is the impress color press on manicure nails this is what it looks like this is the color of the nail it was just like a nice pretty nude color i do not recommend these don't spend your money on them they were horrible they only lasted like maybe an hour maybe i put them on wrong i don't know but they did not last on my nails like I think I went and washed my hands and then the nails were just falling off. I do not recommend this. I used up this vanilla bean moisturizing shave oil. This is so good. I always get this vanilla bean scent because it smells so good, but I recently got a bunch of the watermelon ones. So highly recommend this product. So I used up this vitamin C booster brightening serum and it's from the brand Clear Skin Club. This was okay. It wasn't anything amazing. I think I got this in a boxy charm. I probably wouldn't buy this on my own. Own. So this is the Shea Moisture Strengthening and Restore Treatment Mask. And this is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Hair Mask. I really love this line. The shampoo is like one of my most favorite shampoos. And I like this hair mask over the actual conditioner. So I would get the shampoo and then this. 
instead of the conditioner that matches the shampoo. But this had a really nice, almost not vanilla, but like a soft shea butter scent. Really subtle with scent, doesn't have much to it, but it's super moisturizing. And it made my hair feel so soft after using it. I love this. I have three makeup products that I used up. This is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. And I really did like this brow product. So it had like fibers in it to make your brows look nice and thick. It didn't really help tame the brows, like keep them in place, but it did fill in any bald spots and made my brows look fuller. I finished up this travel size Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is a classic. I do really like this, but there are cheaper options that are just as good. Then the last product that I finished up is from Benefit, and this is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I usually like mascaras that have like the fluffy bristles. This one's a little bit smaller, and I really like this because this really like helped lift the lashes and separate the lashes. So this is one of my more favorite high-end mascaras. I still have my eye masks on. I literally sleep with these on sometimes. They just feel so nice underneath the eyes. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. It will help me so much and I will see you in the next one.